Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So, I put a little effort in today, y'all. See, got me some little earrings, got me a little hat on. Um, got me some clothes on, you know. Let me stop, like I'm like a, a pure bum or something. I'm not, you know, but anyway. Um, I tried to do like little hairs on the, on the side. I, yesterday, um, I, cleaned up my closet a little bit i just put those clothes that you guys that i showed you guys um i really need to put the camera mounts and stuff up but i cleaned up that stuff that i showed you guys on the right side of the closet the clean clothes that were just everywhere um i did hang those up put those away and that was pretty much it um and then i took a shower last night and i blow dried my hair out and straightened my hair out a little bit so you know I have a hair appointment next week next Friday actually a, a, a week from today so I'm not gonna do too much to my hair I really need my hair done so um, yeah we, I washed it like a couple days ago finally blow-dried and straightened it out and that's all I got okay anyway um I feel like like my hair looks nappy from the side like when I do this when you, look, you know when you look from the side it kind of looks like you know you know that effect I'm trying to go for. Anyway, um, okay, so that was my mom. I got some good news. Oh, God. I was waiting on child care, um, because I have child care assistance, um, which helps me with her daycare, and it's, it, listen, child care assistance is a blessing, okay, because sending kids to daycare is expensive. Do you understand what I'm saying? For her age group, it's like 800 something dollars. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. so child care assistance we need to, i need you to help me you know chop that down a little bit so um they finally you know i had to reapply and they sent me the decision and so my mother was reading it for me because i couldn't open it on my phone they had to, i had to open it on a computer and i'm not at a computer and i'm not going to be home for a while so i needed to know the answer i need to know like <laughs> Do I still get to keep the same amount? Like, what's going on? I need to know. My heart is just, my anxiety can't take it. But good news, everything stays the same. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Today, we are, I'm about to go into Aldi's and get some groceries. It's this um, pasta that I seen on TikTok this morning. Now I gotta make it. So I need to get some ingredients for that. I'm gonna make it probably on Sunday. But I need to get some ingredients for that. Um, and just get some stuff for the house. And then I told you guys I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to a different Play-Doh's closet and see if they can take them clothes because I'm not playing. Like they got me messed up. Um and then at twelve o'clock I have her um tour for her um ABA therapy. So that's for today's agenda. I'm already ready to get back home. It's like nine fifteen and I'm ready to go back in the house. So um let me hurry up. Or I gotta go I gotta go back to the post office and drop this um Oh, I gotta get these pictures. Oh my God, there's so many things I have, so many things I have to do within three hours, and I need to hurry up. I need to go and swing by um, Walgreens because I'm gonna make a nice little care package for Josiah, um, cause I need to send him like some little knickknacks down there, and I thought it would be cute to make like a little care package for him. So I'm gonna put some. He don't really watch these vlogs, but in case he does watch, I'm not gonna say. But I'm gonna, you know, make a nice little care package so he can open up. Oh, mommy, I didn't know you were gonna take, you know, get all this. But anyway, so let me hurry up because I need to do all this. And if I have enough in me, I am going to put up my grass wall, but that's gonna be on my other channel. So we'll see. But let me hurry up, get off this camera, and let's go into all these. When I tell you I am about to sign up for a grocery delivery service, I'm not playing. I am out of breath. It is 109 degrees outside and I had to carry these groceries. Oh Lord. And I need to hurry and put them away 
But he's like, I go to my appointment. When I tell y'all, I hate living alone <laughs> because these groceries, oh my God. Carrying them up the stairs in this heat is so disrespectful and ghetto. I can't, I'm, I need to find a delivery service because this is outrageous. Oh, this is outrageous. Oh, sweet Jesus. So, it may look a little slanted right now because um, I got y'all propped up on some candles. So, I am in a rush. I don't have time to do like an official haul, grocery haul, so I'm going to do it as I put the groceries up because I am running a little bit late. Oh Lord, I'm so tired y'all. Already, it's only about 11.40. Oh man, my card. I swear, I try to be on time with stuff y'all, I really do. And yet I still, oh man, I still end up being late for something. It just never fails. Anyway, um, I went to Aldi's and I went to Walmart to get the things that I couldn't get at all these. Um, oh, hold my pictures that I messed up. I got some stuff for Josiah's little um, hair package or whatever, if you will. I may not post this until after I know that he got it, just in case, you know, he does see the vlog. Um, But yeah, so I just got some things to drink. Got some Caesar fries, potatoes. I got some creamer, some cereal over here. I haven't had wine, to be honest, in a very long time. I got those for the style. Some mashed potatoes, more chips, coffee. Oh, these bags I'm gonna keep in the car. I just got a bunch of stuff. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to do this, y'all. I'm gonna have to turn this off because I know I have to really go. So I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, so oh my god, I'm sweating. I'm back at home. Um, I have been ripping and running all day. It is 4 12 p.m. Okay. I came home about what was it? 11 30-ish put the groceries away, I'm just now coming back. Um, and still gotta go back out before we get tomorrow. Um, it's, it's like 110 degrees today, okay? It's super hot. <sighs> anyway, um, I was ripping and running around so much that I didn't even get to like really tell y'all, I went to the tour of the facility um, and I didn't get to tell y'all, you know, what happened. Um, so I'm, just, I'm gonna be putting some things away and also um, trying to talk to you at the same time. So I uh, went to the facility, it's an ABA, it's called ABA therapy, but you know, it's a facility or whatever. I call it a facility, but you know, it's a, it's a, a school, a place or whatever that, you know, teaches kids um, who has autism um and works with them you know on the things that is most concerning to the parent so i went in there my appointment was at 12 o'clock i went in there look i also went to world market and i got me some more coffee syrups i got white chocolate and i got vanilla bean um what i decided to do because you guys know i have my coffee maker over there well not my coffee maker but my coffee wheel I decided, it's because I cannot find the small ones, but I'm like, okay, why would you want to get the small ones? Just start buying the big bottles. Duh. And World Market, if you have not went to World Market, um, they have a massive selection of syrups. Um, just massive. They also have pumpkin pie. So I think I might try that. I don't know. But, um, so I'm going to put my new jars, I mean my new, you know, pumps inside of them. So hold on. Let me get it. Okay, anyway, um, so I went to the facility. First thing we did was we uh, sat down and talked about a good, maybe 30 minutes. 
she was asking me what my concerns were and then she was telling me what they offered i told her my concerns were of course amara's behavior um and how you know she could be aggressive she'd be very angry she's very very hyper um she does you know toe walking her appetite you know is very very high and so she said all those things they work on great then we got down to insurance and so i had already called my insurance and pretty much you know because i haven't you, if you know about insurance because i have not met my deductible yet of course everything's going to come out of pocket uh, oh snap oh shoot oh god okay Anyway, I got all this situated. That was, I don't, the first, the second one went in fine. I don't understand why the first one spilled everywhere. But anyway, um, so the insurance, no, what was I talking about? Um, I can't remember. But we went in there and sat down talking. Um, they said they cover everything as far as the, my concerns with her. So then, um, they were talking about, we were talking about insurance. So, they are only a insurance based only facility which means they don't take private pay so you cannot pay out of pocket um and they don't take take any kind of medicaid because i asked her i said you know i'm thinking about picking up medicaid as secondary insurance just in case my primary insurance which is through my job um doesn't cover you know whatever they don't take any of that so they said they have a bunch of financial assistance programs um and they said they have so many things in place for that that they they don't want financial um and a financial issue be the held back for a child not getting any services so they said they have plenty of programs um they bill out really late so if there's any any ever issue if there's ever any issue with worrying about if they're if the pay the the parent is unable to pay their monthly fee or whatever pretty much saying financial assistance is not a problem we can we can work that out don't worry about it your child can still come just don't worry about it we will figure that out we have so many things in place for you okay cool but then she was saying they they're only open eight to five i work eight to five right so they were saying the next step is they would do a, a test like an evaluating evaluation or whatever so i would bring her there they will evaluate her do what they need to do and they would then by then sorry once that happens they will determine if she needs full-time therapy or part-time full-time therapy is eight to five monday through friday that's a whole 40 hour week okay part-time is still monday through friday but either like one to five or uh I'm eight to one i'm sorry or one to five the problem with that is number one, again, I work. Number two, that means I would have to take her completely out of daycare. And I work during the hours that she's in daycare. So if I take her out of out of daycare, which I guess the, the flip side is I will no longer have to pay for daycare, but I'm on child care assistance, which I told you guys, and I just told you earlier in the video that I just got approved for another year of child care assistance. So if I take her out of daycare, yeah, it's good. That means I don't have to pay anything, but then I'm going to be relying on her going to this facility full time, but then you guys are only open during the hours that I work. One of the things that I do not like, and I have said this on this vlog before, one of the things that I do not like about Texas is their hours of operation. Hold on. I do not like how Texas does not, their medical facilities, their doctors, uh, doctor's offices and things like that, they're not open later or earlier for parents to be able to get into because parents work. And that's one thing I do not like. I do not like how 
you're pretty much open during the time that a lot of the parents are working. So how are we supposed to either get the assistance or make the, make the appointments, the doctor's appointments and things like that, when you're open when I'm working and you close when I get off? I loved how Illinois, they had late appointments. They had certain days, like maybe a day or so um, out of the week where it was considered their late days because parents who work, they have a Saturday sessions. So if you needed to go to a doctor on a Saturday, they were at least open from like eight to noon, eight to one, you know what I'm saying? They don't have any of that here. So the other option, she said they do have in-house where the therapist will come at home but the only, she said, I mean, you, she still get the benefits, but the only thing is she doesn't get the social benefit, which means she's not able to interact with other children and she needs to do that. So I was just like, they showed me around the facility and everything. I liked it. I liked, you know, how they had the layout. And I liked, you know, I liked everything. But the only problem is, is how am I gonna get her there when I work, right? So now that's the problem, now that's the issue. And I was thinking to myself, which is something I really, 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 really do not wanna do. I have two options. Either I do it at home, where I have somebody here, come here, to do her, to do her therapy. Or I would have to change my schedule at work and work overnight so that she can go to the facility, the facility during the day. When I tell you being a single parent, being a parent in general is hard, but being a single parent is harder because you have to do every single thing and adjust your life to your kids and their schedule, their school schedule, their activities, like everything revolves around them. And I know that my daughter really, really needs this care and I really want her to get the care. I really do. I'm just so frustrated that once again, I have to flip my life upside down to accommodate a situation and it's rough. And I don't even know if that's gonna work. Now, this is only based if she's full time. We don't know if she, if she needs to be full time because we have to do the assessment, right? So that's the next step is we're gonna schedule an assessment for her to do. But after that, it's gonna be like, okay, what you wanna do? You want her to do full time? Is she gonna go to the center? What do you wanna do? So I was trying to find other options. I called this other facility who does the same thing. A little bit of lead way, um, they accept Medicaid. They're open until six, but they don't open until eight. Um, and they do uh, offer or accept self pay, private pay. Because the reason why I asked that is because you know, you guys know, and I say this all the time, and I just talked about this, and I, it's so crazy because I was just telling my mother, I really, and I tell you guys this all the time, I really feel that I need to be a 100% stay-at-home mom to accommodate my kids. Because I didn't realize how much, and maybe it's because they're older now, well, Josiah's older, Amara's getting older, when I was in Illinois and it was me and, jo me and Josiah, yeah, I was able to go out and work and I did and I had everything set up. He went to daycare, but of course my mom helped me a lot. But now that each one of them are getting older and times have changed, I am realizing that it's really necessary for a parent to really be at home. You know, Josiah had, day he had activities. I didn't want to take him out of, out, of, out of school activities because I couldn't pick him up from work. You know what I'm saying? So me being a, 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 at home, st you know, working mom, it really benefit me being able to do, have my kids do certain things. I really wish and I cannot wait until my life is set up to where I can still be an entrepreneur and make money and not be at somebody's job. Because that, if I'm able to create my own schedule and do whatever I need to do on my own to create money, that will free up my whole, my time 100% to dedicate to my child. If I was a full-time content creator, this will be no problem. This will be no problem me dropping her off eight to five. No problem. But because I'm not at that level yet, I have to figure out how I'm gonna keep a job. And with this facility, you pretty much gotta keep a job because they only take insurance-based payment or whatever, you know? And the reason why I was asking about self-pay is because 
What happens if you got, I told you guys how my job is. What happens if, God forbid, I no longer have my job? That means I can't, I can't continue bringing her to those sessions? I don't know, because they're only insurance based. Another thing that I was telling, asking them was I was thinking about applying for SSI because this is gonna be a lot. Therapy and stuff, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be expensive. So I was thinking about applying for SSI and that's when she told me they're only, they're a insurance only based program or whatever. Cause I was like, you know, hey, if it come down to a point where I have to be a 100%, you know, at home mom and I have to apply for SSI and that may be my only income to solely focus on her, you know, that's not, that's not what I wanna do. That's not what, I, I would choose to do, but I now understand a lot of parents who have disability of children or have a disabled child, whether it's physical, mental, whatever, and I understand why they're at home parents. You cannot work and dedicate 100% one-on-one -on -one time with a disabled child. You can't. You really have to be with that child every day and give them that one-on-one -on -one attention whether they're physically well especially if they're physically impaired or physically disabled you really have to be there every day right but then even the center says she is going to need one-on-one -on -one care all the time this is going to be an ongoing process until things get better and i can't do that and i'm working and trying to do everything else and focus on my child. And the number one priority is focusing on my child. And it is. But your girl got to work to take care of her. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't want to continue putting this off because she needs this help. But I don't even know what to do, y'all. More on this later. I got to pack up this um, this gift box. Oh, I was supposed to write something cute. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so I had to be really quick. um, Because I got to go. Ugh, I'm always rushing. I'm trying to pack up this. Box for Josiah. I'm, you, know, you guys, I told you. Um, I got him a little card. I had to write out the card, and I also um, printed out some pictures. I printed out some five by seven pictures of our uh, professional. You guys seen our photos or whatever? So I printed out pictures of us in the in, in uh, Amara and, and him and I. And then he wanted his little toy car. He wanted this little ball. Um, his extra glasses. So I was just gonna send these things, but then I'm like, why well, don't just do like a little care package? So I got him his his um, favorite candies he liked from from World Market. I don't know if you can bring stuff like this, but whatever. Um, I got him some Captain Crunch cereal bars that he likes. He's gonna be so excited, y'all, because he has no no idea I'm doing this. He just thinks I'm bringing bringing the regular stuff. And then I got him. So many Skittles he likes, the gums he likes, um, he likes honey buns. Listen, I know it's a lot of sugar, whatever, it's a care package, I love my son, whatever. Um, I got him the chips he likes, and he needed a, his keyboard, so I got this, and this is an inhaler that I have for him. Um, his inhaler, I think, is going to expire in September. This does not expire until November. So I'm going to send him this so that um, he'll be able to have it. And I don't have, like, no paper or nothing to put in here. So whatever. Uh, it should be fine. So I'm trying to hurry up because I need to go to Amara's... Um, I need to go to her doctor, her pediatrician... Uh, before they close to get a letter so that I can take it to her daycare. I told her daycare that I'll give like an official letter letting them know that she was diagnosed or whatever so they kind of know and have it on file. And I'm trying to get before they close, which they close in 20 minutes. I'm down the street, but still. Because I don't want to have to, they, and they close on, they close on the weekends. Like, I mean, I get it, you know. I get that people want to spend time with their families and stuff like to me texas is a very family oriented state so the same way you want to spend time with your family the same way they want to spend time with their family and i get it but jesus christ my battery about to die i'll be right back y'all i'll see y'all later in the next clip i gotta go hey guys all right so um it's a couple days later i don't know where i left off in this vlog um the previous clip was from friday and today is sunday 
So I don't know what I was saying, but um, I know that I was explaining to you guys about trying to figure out how I'm going to get her into these um, into this program for ABA therapy, and um, the only option I may have is to switch my um, oh, my battery, of course. Hold on. Okay, so I changed my battery. Um, I'm so irritated. I'm so irritated. I'm trying my best, y'all, to understand that my daughter has a condition. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. But it doesn't it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna get irritated at the things that she does. Okay. For the last couple of days, because she can't slash don't know how to go to number two in the pot in the potty because of her muscles and everything connects back to or reverts back to her disorder okay so part of her disorder it doesn't allow her to um you know move or work her muscles to build up the strength to do number two in the pot so that's why she doesn't know how to do number two yet right so when she does release it she releases releases it in her underwear and for the last couple days she has been doing number two in her underwear several times a day. And who's the one cleaning it up? I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm like, just at least tell me you have to boo before you do it. At least just say something. And, it, and then it stinks up the house, okay? It, it just sets the house off, okay? So I'm just, I'm cleaning up like three, four times a day out of her, she's destroying her underwear. I literally just, y'all seen in this vlog, in this vlog, the underwear I bought her, she went through all of them almost. Literally, I just bought her those underwears two days ago. She is messing each and every last one of them up. My money just gone down the drain. No, I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna put pull-ups on her because she's four. She doesn't need to be in pull-ups. And I think putting her in pull-ups again is going to encourage her to continue doing number two in her in her pull-up. When she wore pull-ups, she felt so comfortable. She would literally sneak when when we was in trend. This and this was like like maybe earlier this year. When we were transitioning her into panties, she would literally go sneak. I would only keep the, um, what is it? I would only keep the, um, the pull-ups for overnight, right? Because she wasn't doing well overnight as far as, you know, not peeing in her bed. So I would make her wear the her panties throughout the day and then at night, we would just put the pull-ups on until she got used to learning how to use the bathroom or getting up and going to the bathroom, even in the middle of the night, right? She would sneak and go get a pull-up to do number two. So, the most comfortable way that she felt in doing number two was in her pull-up. So, me going to get pull-ups again to avoid her messing up her underwear is not really the answer because she's going to get used it again to doing number two in her pull-ups and we want her not to do that we want her to get used to using the bathroom yes i try to put her on the pot to do number two all of that She's so cute, but I'm so annoyed. <laughs> don't lick my, go in the bag. Go, I'm about to start cooking. I want water. I will give you water, go. I'm just, oh my God, I'm so stressed out. My head hurts. This is a problem. Listen, okay. When I went to, um, when I went to the tour, 
you know, the lady was telling me how, you know, they have groups, like a Facebook group and stuff like that. And there's a lot of parents that, you know, connected and hooked up or whatever, you know, outside of, of the tutoring or whatever. Um, I be wanting to just break down, y'all. I swear, because it, it's a lot. This is mentally and physically a lot. It really is to deal with. Like, I don't... Well, I was going to say, I don't know, even know how parents do it with, with people who... Um, with children that are are... How can I say more on the spectrum than her um but the difference is those who are more on the spectrum and 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 their autism is more increased i guess i'm trying to find the best way to say but like this you know her 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 symptoms and actions and you know things like that those who are more heightened than her they're more calm She's her hers is hyper. Her autism includes her being hyper. If she wouldn't, if the if she didn't have the hyper part, I can deal with everything else. But see, that's nasty. It's not funny, Amara. It stop doing that. Go back to your room. It's not funny. It's the hyperness that that drives me insane because she just nonstop. She's and I'm a person who's very calculated, organized. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta. I got time to be, you know, doing all this extra stuff. She wants to play and do all this, and and I'm trying to get things in order. And listen, excuse me if I'm not, you know, the mom to be playful. I'm not. My life is not set up that way. My parenting is not set up that way to be a carefree mom. Mommy. I have to be on an organized Mommy. schedule in order for things to Mommy. work out. What is it, Amara? What is it? Go back in your room, Amara. Never mind. Never mind. Who oh, look at my chin. Oh. I think part of the reason why I'm gaining so much weight is because I'm stressed out. Like this is a lot and I'm gonna keep saying it, it's a lot. The girl don't, I, I didn't told her to go in her room 700 times since I've been on this camera. You think she in her room? I tell her several things a, a day, a hundred times over. She don't listen. <laughs> I understand Peace she's four out. years old. I understand. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. I understand she's four years old. I get it. And she wants to play. And she wants to. I, I completely understand that. And I try to be playful. And I try to laugh. And I try to do the things that I can do with her. But at the same time, I'm sorry. I'm not that mom that is the nurturing and playful and let's you know sip tea and play dolls together i the reason why i'm not that way is because my situation was never set up that way for me to enjoy my children right my life was set up as a single parent so i got to make sure y'all eat our clothes you off to school you have this you have this i'm sorry i don't have time to sit and play and sip tea and play dolls i don't and so I'm stressed because she wants to do all this and I'm trying to keep things in order. And she wants to, and I don't have time. I don't have the mental capacity. I don't have the physical capacity to do any of that. I mean, if this sounds harsh or cruel, I'm sorry. But at the same time, I'm sure there's a parent who may be going through the same thing or not even just going through the same thing as far as an artistic child, but understands that your parenting and the way you have children was, wasn't set up as the ideal American family. You are a single parent and you trying to do the best you can and you trying to make sure things go as smooth as possible throughout the day. 
so that you don't lose your mind and that you, you're not out of a house or a home. You know what I'm saying? The only way that I will probably be able to have her be a part of this therapy, and I don't even know how much, like I'm sure I told y'all how I felt, but I, I can't remember, it was two days ago. I don't know if I said it already, but anyway, I think I did, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, but I'll say it really quickly. The therapy um, that she needs is from eight to five. And um, the only way that I can have her in is eight to five Monday through Friday, which means I would have to take her. Oh, I think I did tell y'all this because I said I had just got pre, I just got approved again for my renewal of childcare, but I would have to take her out of childcare, right? It's Monday through Friday, eight to five all day. 40 hours a week, like a full-time job. That's if she qualifies for full-time care, um, meaning, Sometimes they may need full-time care and then sometimes they just only need partial. But either way, it's during the daytime and it's during work hours. So I would have to change my schedule at work to overnight. So I thought about it the last couple days and I was like, you know what? Even though I really prefer not to do overnight because I'm just so set of working during the day. Um thinking about overnights it's it's not especially because i'm i'm at home she'll be asleep if i can get her to go to sleep but she'll be asleep at home when i'm working right because i'm thinking of doing something like at 9 p.m to like 6 you know and so if i can get her sleep um if you know if i can um do overnight she could be asleep while i'm working that could free up you know the 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 day for me to do doctor's appointments because you know I told y'all how they're closed how you know Texas they're not open you know certain hours or whatever they're only open during the hours that people work so that would you know give me you know free range to schedule doctor's appointments to do things in the morning is uncle coming back tomorrow no but is uncle coming back or no So she's been experiencing um, I want brother. this, you know, separation. It's I think it has now. I want to the brother. End. I know, Mama. I I think she's now experiencing, you know, everybody not being here anymore. I can't take it anymore. What can't you take, Amara? Um, the other, I, I'm going to finish my story. The other day she was talking, I don't know if it was somebody at school or a character or whatever she was watching, but she was like, so-and-so has a family and I don't have a family anymore. And I'm like, why do you say that? She said, it's just me and you. And she was talking about how my mom, my brother, and my son are gone. And I'm like, oh, we're still your family, mom. We're still your family. Everybody's just living in different houses now. And so... She keeps saying she wants her family. And then she always mentioned her dad. What? Stop, Mama. You can't make all that noise. So, anyway, um, back to overnight. So, if I do overnight, it'll free up the day for me to do certain things. I do know I have to sleep, you know, and I'll have to change my sleeping Mama, pattern. I'm which getting is gonna back be, for I'm going backwards. Okay, stop. Um, changing my sleeping pattern. That's going to be kind of weird, but. Um, yeah, so I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going, what I'm doing. No, because I'm about to change you. Don't do that. What you can do is go get a plastic bag. I don't know. So I, I, I'm just, I'm done with this story because I'm just, I'm getting irritated. Um, so we'll see if that works out. I contacted my job and contacted my boss to see if 
that's something they can do for me um, to where they can change my schedule to overnight and that way she can go to the program and we'll see what happens I don't know and here's another thing here's another thing right I don't know if I said this either but I'm gonna say it again so you guys know how probably like in the last video I was talking about me not being I was talking about the girl the girl who um, the TikTok uh, girl who was talking about how she was trying to find other jobs or whatever and couldn't find another job and you know God wanted her to do something else so anyway I was thinking to myself I told her not to brush her teeth yet Go in the room. I mean, go in the bathroom and finish brushing your teeth tomorrow. This is why I bought two glasses of wine. I want my family. Okay, go in the bathroom and finish brushing your teeth. Um. What was I saying? Oh, the girl. Um, so I was thinking, right, that first of all, working overnight, if I'm not mistaken, they get paid a dollar more. So, hmm. um, but I was thinking, like, what if this was in the plan all along? And the reason why I have not gotten interviewed, I got, let me see, out of all the applications I have filled out for the last. I don't know like six seven months maybe I think I got maybe two or three people that contacted me back that wanted interviews two or three out of all the applications I filled out so I was thinking to myself I'm like well what if this was part of the plan what if this was in God's plan and I wasn't meant to find another job because I was going to transition to nighttime and nighttime, like I just said, nighttime workers get paid a dollar more because it's overnight. So that would help with me wanting more money because I was looking for a job that does a similar, that has a similar kind of skill of allowing me to do chats. What? I'm late. You what? I'm late for school. Actually, I can give you a bath. Why? Because you have school tomorrow. No, I don't. It's just, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I really, really, really hope this 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 therapy therapy helps because I'm going to lose my ever-loving man. I was telling my mother the other day, I just feel like I was walking past him. I don't know if I said this to y'all already, but I just feel like I was walking past the mirror and I'm like, man, you only 34 C1A, but you look like you about 45. I look stressed out. I'm gaining more weight. I'm stressed out. And it's like you you like you wouldn't think that, you know, you wouldn't think I was 34. Yeah, made by the face. But it's like I just feel like I'm get I feel like I'm getting older by stress. The stress is weighing me down. And it's like I feel like, you know, am I going into depression mode and I it's like I'm I don't know. I don't feel like I'm depressed. I don't. I just feel like I'm stressed out because it's a lot. It's a lot. It's like if somebody wants something from me, a bill, a kid, uh, whoever, just somebody wants something. And just, I just, I just want the shit to stop. Excuse my language, but I want the shit to stop and people leave me the fuck alone and shit to go away. Excuse my language, but that's what it is. Sometimes I just feel like did I bring all this on myself because I made the wrong decisions in my life?
Is this my payback? Is this my discipline for making the wrong decisions in my life? I, I felt like because I took ownership and I took responsibilities of any decisions that I made in my life that I felt like that was that was that was my consequence, you know, just taking accountability and taking ownership of whatever incorrect decision I made, whether it was having children or picking the wrong person or whatever. I never backed out and I never I never gave up and I never backed out. And I just I just I just whatever the situation was, I just I just took it. I never gave up. And I, I I just feel like I'm always fighting. I'm always fighting. <laughs> fighting to live, fighting to 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 stay above water, fighting to be the bigger person, fighting to not say something when I really want to just go off, fighting to just make sure that myself and my kids are okay, fighting to keep a job, fighting to to just, you know, be cared for, be loved. I just feel like I'm always fighting and I don't want to fight no more. I don't even care about, I don't, I don't mind a fight every now and then. I'm not asking for life to just give me every single thing that I want because I do feel that it feels so much better when you, when you work hard for things or when you overcome a situation and, and, and you never gave up and you, you won, you won it, right? So I don't mind that. But I feel like I'm always fighting. I'm always fighting. Do I ever win? Do I? And, and yes, I understand. God has given me things and he has blessed me. And I will never, never not acknowledge that. God has absolutely blessed me, especially within these last three years. He has blessed me a lot. But I feel like I'm still fighting. Am I ever not going to fight? Am I ever not going to fight? Am I ever not going to fight? When, when does the fighting stop? When do I win? When do I win? Like I don't I don't want to win little battles in between. I want to win the war. When is the war? When do I win the war? I've tried to finish this video several times and she just keeps interrupting me, which is pissing me off. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore at this point. I'm just about to end this. I was going, I'm about to cook. I was going to show y'all my end result. I'm going to end this vlog because I'm just, I'm irritated. I'm frustrated and I'm just, I'm about to snap. I'm just, I'm about to snap. So I just, I, I just need to go because I'm just so, I'm just so irritated by <laughs> I just wish God would show me. Just, just show me already what it is that you got for me. If you got anything, cause I'm tired of suffering. Like I'm tired. I'm just tired. Like what? What is all this for? Like what is this for? Cause I can't keep doing this. I will lose my mind. <laughs> what is all this for? <laughs> Nothing, Laura. But why are you crying? Why are you crying? You don't know. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I don't know, Laura. Just nothing. You miss Nanny. You miss Nanny. No, that's not why I'm crying. Frustrated. What? I'm just frustrated. 
Why? Just a lot going on. Oh, um, where are your nose? Do you need to blow your nose? Thanks, Mabel. Thank you. Okay. Can you give mommy some tissue? We just got tissue. Yeah, but that's all you only gave me a little. Okay. I need more. Oh, oh, there's no more it's tissue in the bathroom. Okay. Yes, I understand. It's not. I shouldn't cry in front of her, but typically I don't. I really don't. But this is a real life moment. I'm not cutting any of this out. This is a real life moment. Like, I am blessed and God has blessed me in these last three years. And I'm not going to forget that. And I'm not going to act like my life is not better than what it was three years ago. It is. It is. Don't get me wrong. But that doesn't mean that I'm still in a fight and I'm trying to figure out when is this fight over there's a certain level that I'm trying to reach within my life and for my kids and it's just it's taking forever for me to reach that and I don't get it like I don't understand it's always something it's always something in my life that comes about and it's like I'm tired of that can I win can I win for a couple years like one of my biggest things is financial freedom. Like it's taking me forever to get to a point for me to just be free of finances and having to worry about it. Am I in a better financial situation than, I, than what I was three years ago? Yes, but I want to maintain that. And I just feel like what I'm trying to do to maintain that is taking forever. And I'm trying to utilize all the things that I can while still being a full-time mom and being a full-time employee. I just feel like I'm being stretched and I just can't do what I need to do because everybody wants me. Everything, everybody want my attention. Somebody want my eight-hour time. Somebody want me. It's just like I can't do what I need to do to set my life and my kids up because I just got so much other stuff that's in the way. With no help, no help. Don't know how to do nothing. When I say nothing, my family helps me, yes. You know, like with the kids and watching the kids. What I'm saying is, ain't nobody paying my bills. Ain't nobody giving me nothing. I don't know what. I, that's me. That's me. What happened to my tissue? I don't know. I gotta go. I, um, I need to attend to my child. No, no, don't mark on that. Put that up. Did you find you some underwear and pajamas? I'm about to give you a bath. No, I'm just going to find it. Go find it, please. Okay. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mama. Love you. Love you, too. Just this. I love my children and <clears throat> although I wish I would have waited to have children I don't regret having my kids or I don't regret being a mother I just wish I was able to be a better mother and have the opportunity to enjoy motherhood the opportunity to to be free mentally to be able to take on the things that come my way Mommy, I, I don't know I, if it makes sense I to you I found my making machine I found my making machine but I can't find my piece don't do that what okay um I'm gonna go and um I guess I'll show y'all I'm not gonna do step by step with the cooking but I'll show y'all how it turns out I'm hoping it, I, oh I didn't tell you what I was making 
I'm making this um like pasta sausage pasta Cajun sausage pasta whatever it's from this guy off TikTok called I don't know if it's, he pronounced it Royal or Royale Eats or Eat I don't know but I'll try to link the video in the description box um <clears throat> his food looks so good and I think that's gonna be like my my recipe book and I want to start making I've, I've been wanting to start making different stuff so some of the stuff he makes on there it just looks so good so I started with that so I'm gonna do that and um, I'll show y'all the finishing product um okay so we have heavy whipping cream we have some bell peppers red and <laughs> uh, green the smoked sausage parmesan cheese a red onion uh the rigatoni chicken broth these are all the seasonings garlic powder paprika chili powder um i think i'm actually yeah, supposed what? to get some uh three cloves but it said minced so we just gotta make this do what did you do? um some coming in um italian seasoning and parsley flakes and then some butter so this is the ingredients let me whip it up oh i hope this turned out right because i'm so what excited for this okay so here is the finishing Ooh. listen i am so proud of myself okay this is so bomb it is so good y'all i can't even believe i made it listen i will put the description down below well i'll put the link to the TikTok, his name is Royal Eats or Royale Eats or Eats. I don't know, but I'll put the video to his TikTok down below. But oh my god, the preparation stuff I would say it took about a good 45 minutes to cook this, but it is so so. I did, I did great. I did great. Oh my god, this is oh, you see, oh god, okay, what. Can you show mine? Yours is almost half eaten. <laughs> okay, so I am about to close this out, close this vlog. This vlog. I don't know how long it is, but um, I'm about to close it out. I'm hungry. I'm about to chow down. I'm so excited. Ooh, Girl, why your head sticking up? Uh, no, you need to eat your pasta, not any more of the bread. Please. No. Please. Girl. Anyway, I'm about to eat. The clip the kitchen is cleaned. I she had a bath. I'm eating your room. No, ma'am, you're not eating your room. Um, it's time to go it's time to eat and go to bed, okay? We gotta get ready for work week work week, school week, and all the other stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Please send your love and prayers because I need it. Okay. Uh, get your food out my hand. Get your hand on my food. Get your food out of hand. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye. Bye bye.